Can you believe this? Can you believe this was a grail like a year and a half, two years ago? The 46 millimeter Orient Saturation Diver, more than any automatic watch I've ever used, has the best crown movement ever. You can just feel the quality. And uh, man, it looks so good. Uh, and uh, sometimes it bores me, sometimes it looks good. Uh, the case is not as refined as the Sumo. I may have to get rid of it. I'm under orders from the president of the international watch community, President Heinrich Galutas. He paid me a visit. I was really surprised. He uh, came over this morning. Uh, there was a knock on the door, and uh, there he was, six foot six, 35 years old, short dark hair. Uh, he was sporting a 47 millimeter Panerai Lum Luminor. No, it was a submersible. I'm sorry. It was the Panerai submersible. He had a black German Shepherd next to him named Max, and I invited him and his dog inside, and we had some coffee and we talked about watches because, you know. He's the president of the international watch community, and I'm a watch obsessive. And uh, so we're just sitting there drinking coffee. I'm looking at his Panerai submersible, and I go, nice watch. And he just rolls his eyes and goes, please, come on, McMahon. When, when someone wears a watch like this, the rule is there's this assumed uh, shared knowledge that you don't talk about it. It's it's Everyone already knows it's great. So you don't have to flatter me. I don't need your affirmation, all right? That's not why I'm here, all right? Uh, and I'm thinking, but man, that is, that's an amazing watch. I really wanted to talk about it. You know, when I, when I look you up on Google images, uh, Mr. President, you're always wearing that same Panerai. You look so confident with it. Uh, and he goes, let me tell you something. I'm not like you. I'm not like the rest of you watch obsessives. I'm, I'm one of the 1% watch obsessives. At the age of 11, I knew what I wanted. I'm one of those rare watch obsessives who sees all watches, past, present, and future. And uh, I was 11 years old, knew I had to get the Panerai submersible. And by the time I was 14, I graduated high school. I went to college, studied mechanical engineering in Hamburg. And uh, at the age of 17, I graduated from uh, college. And by 19, I had my Panerai. And that's it. You will never see me having any doubts, any, any loss of conviction. And that's why I'm the president of the international watch community. And that's why you, McMahon, are some fat bald guy who makes YouTube videos in your living room. That's the difference between you and me. But, but that's not why I'm here. I didn't come here to insult you. I didn't come here to talk about how you and your other watch obsessives post, uh, you know, pick photographs of two watches on a watch forum and go, help me out, guys. I don't know which one to get. I like them both. Help me pick one. That's for wussies, man. Real men, they know what watch they want. They don't need to ask other members of the watch community to help them pick a watch. That's why I'm the president of the international watch community, and you are some fat bald guy who makes YouTube videos in your living room. All right, but 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 I didn't come here to, to insult you. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to tell you that you need to get rid of all your watches except for two. You only should only have two watches. I'm, I'm saying... Uh, why why are you doing this man I, I, I don't want I don't want to get rid of my watches man I have about like eight watches or something like that why, why do you want me to get rid of them all except for two he goes why because you're miserable and by selling them all and only having two you're gonna be happy you do want to be happy right McMahon you do want to reach what what we call watch Nirvana don't you McMahon now I am the president of the International Watch Community. I know a little bit about Watch Nirvana. You don't have it. I'm here to tell you how to get it. Listen to me. Sell all your watches except keep two. You understand? Now, here's the deal. I got other people I got to talk to about the same topic. So, I'm going to come back in a week. And when I come back, you're going to have gotten rid of all your watches except for two. All right? And that's it. So, he left. He leaves me. And I'm thinking about this. And my, my first thought is, is there really such thing as watch Nirvana? And, and uh, I don't think there is. I was just having a discussion with Johnny Casual yesterday. And the very nature of a watch obsessive, unless you're some rare watch ninja, like uh, Heinrich, uh, you know, Mr. President uh, of the International Watch Community, he, he's like this rare guy who can just see all watches, past, present, and future, uh, he can see them all, and uh, I don't have that quality. And uh, we were talking about, uh, Johnny Casual and I were talking about how 
part of the watch hobby is shaking things up every now and then. You're, you, that's the fun of it. You shake things up. You deconstruct your uh, collection. You reinvent it. And uh, so I, I just don't know if I have uh, the president's uh, sentiments on that. Uh, Heinrich, don't be uh, offended. Heinrich Galutis. I'm trying to get his name right. Uh, mechanical engineer from Hamburg. Uh, Heinrich Galutis. He's coming back in two weeks. Uh, I don't think you can find Watch Nirvana. I think being hungry for, for new things and, and having a certain amount of discontent is part of the watch hobby. Uh, so, uh, number two, you have to acknowledge a certain amount of misery that makes a huge gap between you and Watch Nirvana. You're going to be miserable if you're a watch hobbyist because you're going to look at your treasure of, of watches and you're going to say, oh my God, they're all so beautiful. And there's just not enough time in life to wear them all. There's not enough time in life to wear them all with any significance. Nope. And so uh, I think that's why uh, uh, the president he wants me to sell them all except for two. He just wants me to sell them all but two. And I'm telling you, it's hard for me to do that. Because I will make my decision based on how I feel about my watches right now. But what I've learned as a watch obsessive. Is it your desire for watches? It ebbs and it flows. Can you hear my kids? They're having a lot of fun back there. <laughs> oh boy. One of these days I'll get my own office. But <laughs> you think uh, the president, Heinrich, uh, has his uh, own office? I'll bet he does. Uh, Heinrich Galutas. I'm trying to get his name right. Heinrich Galutas. Uh, I'm sure he has his own office. I don't have my own office. I think you can hear the kids. Uh, but, uh, you know, so if I'm, if I sell a bunch of watches based on how I feel today, those feelings might change. You know, you can be icy cold on a watch today and then love it a month or two down the road. You sell them, man, you could do a rebuy. Uh, one of the things, uh, in our discussion with uh, Heinrich Aludis, he says, I've never done a rebuy in my life. I've only had one watch in my life. I'm not at all like you. I know what I want. I know who I am. You're lost. I'm coming back in two weeks, sell them all, except for two. It's all you need. Pretty intimidating proposition. Uh, I don't even know if I believe in uh, Watch Nirvana uh, for the reasons I just told you. But I will tell you, uh, in the next week, I'm, I'm uh, going to be getting a couple watches. I don't want to say what they are. I want to keep it a surprise. I, I guess I could keep those and sell all the other ones. I'll show them to you. Uh, they're the most amazing watches I've ever seen in my life. And uh, I'm going to have to uh, get those, make my assessment. And uh, when uh, Heinrich uh, Galutis, did I say his name right? Heinrich Galutis, I think his name. God, it sounds like Gluteus Maximus. But uh, when he comes back, I'm either going to acquiesce to his demand or I'm going to argue with him. that There is no watch nirvana and there's no point in me complying with his uh, request that I sell all my watches but two. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to see how that plays out. And uh, until then, uh, I'll talk to you.